this tutorial you will learn if we do uh, just tie okay uh, we will set the tie function as well as if we tie uh, camera will stop moving right there okay so we will make that so without furthering delay let's dive into this topic if i hit this play button okay so if we just fall down on ground okay like this we should uh, stop moving our camera and need to show up that came over ui okay so let's do that to do so uh to, to do so firstly what we're going to do we will create a script uh, called game manager something like that okay it, that will handle if the uh, if the play, uh, player is really tired or not okay if player tired we're gonna set it to, uh, set active to false and if it's not tired we will leave as it to true okay so let's do that firstly you need to move over to assets right click create okay create should subscript name it to game manager as well okay or uh, you can attach this script uh, to any game object of hierarchy it's up to you but i'm gonna create a separate uh, separate uh, game manager game object uh, and gonna attach that script to that game object to do so uh, right click on hierarchy or hit this plus icon let's call this game object empty game object to game manager game manager right uh, go to transform of that game object right click and reset the transform okay you can select an icon for it it's up to you i'm gonna select this red one okay i'm gonna move it over up a little bit and i'm gonna attach this script select that script and drag it to add component section to that game object okay and double click that to open up in visual studio so we have by default start and update function we can see so let's remove these two function we don't need it also these two namespaces in the top we don't need it instead what we will do sorry instead what we will do we will create a bool parameter and we know bool parameter can be true or false okay so if the player died we will set it to false uh, if the player player haven't died yet then it will be i uh, we will leave it as a true okay so we will make it public so we can call set uh, this parameter through another script as well so that is the reason of marking as a public parameter that will be bool okay a uh, bool sorry uh, that will be bool and we know a uh, bool, bool, bool okay it can be true or false let's call this is game active okay is game active and by default we're going to set it to true because we know when the game start the game will be active so that is the reason we will set it to true and close that off with semicolon but when's the player died okay once the player died we will set this gay is game active parameter to be false and if it falls we will stop moving our camera so we need to set it to false but when we shoot once the player died so let's open up our player script right away so in the bottom uh, i guess we haven't created the player uh, died script yet okay so let's uh, sorry uh, player died function if i move to unity uh, we should destroy our player game object okay when it falls down uh, down through the ground okay we should destroy it right after okay right after so let's open up our player skip you can make a separate script for that like you can call it player health and uh, you can do the logic over there but i'm gonna go to with uh, just on player script okay so we need to open that up so i'm gonna open up our player script i'm gonna uh, select the player game object in there we have added player script let's open that up by double clicking on it okay so uh, so over here over in the bottom we will create a tie function for function we know we have to type void then we have to name the function let's call die make some first bracket and some curly brackets so what we want to do inside of this die function we want to destroy this game object player game object right away okay we need to destroy player game object right away to destroy we have to use this destroy function and we know destroy function what we it will take it will take the game object you want to destroy 
so in our case we added the player game uh, script to our player game object we can see so uh, do, uh, over there uh, over there destroy we will pass this dot okay this dot game object and close that off with semicolon so basically this dot game object basically referencing itself okay uh, this dot game object uh, referencing itself uh, so we added player script to player game object okay uh, player game object so the player over here uh, this dot game object referencing its whole game object basically the player game object okay so control s on your keyboard but we need to call this function okay so when we should call when we uh, goes bottom uh, to the ground okay so let's uh, let's uh, drag a prefab out here so just wait for to compile we just press ctrl s to save okay make sure you uh, press ctrl s on your keyboard to save your code okay so just wait for to compile it's gonna take a few moment and we are done so so if i drag a prefab from the prefab folder okay any ground to this hierarchy something like this and what we gonna do if i select this player game object if the player game object over here something like this so as you can see player will not able to jump uh, jump ever from this height okay uh, from this height if if the player is over here it's not touching uh, uh, player foot not touching the crown it just goes beyond it so in this situation it will uh, just uh, will go down okay just will go down so note the position of this player in the y axis so it is minus uh, 3.22 you can see in the inspector let's put it minus 3 instead uh, so minus 3 is fine as you can see minus 3 if the player position becomes minus 3 means over here it will not able to jump okay uh, the, uh, so that what we should we need to destroy in this situation okay if the player goes uh, about this position okay so let's set it back to zero okay i'm gonna move it over here let's uh, un uh, disactive this crown for now we checked so which is minus three so we will go over, go over to update function okay update function we know uh, it's run every single frame so we need to check if the player position every single frame in the y axis as well as in the x axis so we will check over here if transform okay if transform dot position dot y if it's lesser than or equal to minus 3 we seen f minus 3 f must make some curly brackets so transform dot position dot y basically we just going over to transform player transform then position then y we are checking if this y is if it's lesser than or equal to 3 f as you seen it will be over here something like that so in this situation we want to destroy our player game object because it will not able to jump ever okay so let's call this die function over here sorry die okay and make some first bracket and close that off with semicolon and we know what die function is doing it just destroying the player game object right away itself okay so control as on your keyboard to save your code and go to unity wherever the player position in the y axis becomes lesser than or minus or equal to minus 3 and that we calling that die function and we know what die function is doing it's just destroying our player game object right away so just wait for the compile and gonna able to see that change okay so just wait for the compile and if i hit this play button once ever the player position case goes beyond minus 3 okay or minus 3 begins it will be destroyed so let's suppose see as you can see player game object get destroyed but the but the problem is the the camera is still moving okay the camera is still moving player game object gets tied but camera is still moving so we know we created a game manager script where it will check is the game is active or not if i open up our game manager script one more time so as you can see we have created a bool parameter it's called is game active and by default we set it to true we know when the game start game will be active so that is the reason we setting by default to true 
but once the player died we should say that game managers uh, is game active parameter to be false because player is no longer in this in view and that means we need to end up our game okay we need to end up our game so if i open up the, our player skip one more time by double clicking on it so we destroying our player game object in the bottom we can see destroy player game object okay before we destroy what we want to do we want to set that parameter to be false we know we created is game active parameter okay which will keep track of if the game is really active or not if the player dies we need to set that parameter to be false because the game is no longer active or uh, player is no more active okay so firstly we need to type this find object of type statement okay type find object of type okay find object of type and in the arrow we have to type the script name okay we have to type the script name uh, so uh, in game manager script we created okay game manager script this is script move firstly we will go over to this script we will find this script and by that we will say this is game active parameter to be false okay so let's uh, we have to pass in arrow the script name which is game manager we know okay game manager and make some first bracket and we know in game manager script we created that is game active parameter so let's access that dot is game active and what we want to do player dies we need to set that uh, parameter to be false so let's set equal to false okay and close that off with semicolon control is to save your code and let's go to unity so in game manager script okay we setting that parameter to be false and uh, when the player dies we setting that parameter to be false okay when the player is not died yet well, that, uh, that parameter will be true as default but when the player died we setting that to be false okay so just wait for the compile code i to see that so just wait for to compile it will take a few moment so if i select this game manager script okay so i'm gonna take this game manager in the top of hierarchy so we can notice it so in this game active by default you can see true when it checked okay if i hit this play button okay if i hit this play button and this is game active parameter will be false okay is game active parameter to be, will be false so when we goes over here so as you can see is game active parameter gets false so what we want to do if this is game active parameter is false okay sorry if this is game active parameter is false what we want to do we want to stop moving our camera we should stop moving our camera so we will open up our camera script which is follow i guess we yeah, are follow so double click that to open up in visual studio over here we can see we just moving over the camera in the right side vector to right right with this much of speed we just moving the camera so before we move the camera we need to check if the game is really active or not so we know when the player dies we said that is game active parameter to be false means the player is no longer to in scene view or the scene or the game okay then in that condition we not need to stop moving our camera okay so before we is moving move our camera we need to check so we have to use this if condition and in the if condition brackets we need to check okay firstly we will type find object of type okay this name stage uh, names uh, name okay and into arrows we have to pass the script name which is we know game manager okay game manager and make some first bracket dot and uh, we know in game manager script we created that is game active parameter okay so is game pa active parameter if it's equals equals to false okay if it's equals equals to false make some curly brackets type written in there so firstly we finding object of type which is game manager basically this game manager script and uh, and by that which is accessing this is game active parameter and we are checking if that is game active parameter is false okay sorry spawner 
oh sorry but let's follow 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 okay so if, if that is game active parameter is equals equals to false then what we do we just typing return basically after return means whatever you write it's not gonna uh, not gonna execute or it's uh, this line of code will not be execute or will not be call okay so the camera will not move any more uh, so when we uh, setting this is game active parameter to false when the player died as you seen we said that is game active parameter to be false and if it's false what we're doing we just typing return and we know after return whatever you write or uh, it's never gonna call or never gonna execute so the camera will stop moving right there okay so control s on your keyboard to save your code let's move to unity so once the player died means once the player goes beyond minus 3f it's just uh, destroying itself and if it's destroyed we just stop moving the camera firstly we just setting that parameter to be false and if that parameter is false then we just stop moving the camera okay so just wait for to compile so if i hit this play button in the top and gonna able to see that so if i now goes beyond as you can see the camera stops moving right there okay so that is cool thing uh, the, the camera just stops right there whenever the player goes tired okay goes tired uh, goes tired and it just get uh, the camera just stop moving so if you want to make a game over UI, I will have link in the description okay, of a video. I already have explained about it, how you can bring up your game over your UI when the player died. And we need to cover up the high score in the next time. Okay, we need to cover up the high score, how much is score, uh, basically the player progress. We need to cover that up. And if you want to make a higher game over UI, I, I, I have a, a video in the description a video link in the description you can go ahead and check that out it was uh, it is also mine okay and lastly thanks for watching this tutorial okay i hope you get the idea